Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode... The Purge is on! That's right. That's it's right. cage time. A bit of old school ca retro cage yeah, time. Yeah, retro. Retro but cage But a good time. version. Uh, really, uh... And this is the Honest trailer yeah. for National Treasure. A movie that's really fun. Actually, really Features good. Features Sean Bean not dying. Maybe in jail? We don't know. Never confirmed. Um, real, really entertaining. I mean, it created one of the biggest Nicolas Cage memes of all time. I'm going to steal the decoration. <laughs> Independence going, excuse me? But it, okay, so memes aside, the fact that it stars the amazing Nicolas Cage, this really is a f fun film. It's yeah. such an absurd plot. Somebody will put a treasure map on the back of the Declaration of Prayer. It's absurd, and somehow the film makes they, they, it... They, they make it work. The thing is, they make it work, and the action is good. The storytelling is really good, because they really build on it. And it's a really fun adventure, because you don't know what to expect at the end of it. Yeah, and, and then they followed up with a... I don't know, would you say it, was, it would be a good sequel or a decent sequel? I thought it was a good sequel. I thought it was a good sequel, I mean, though. Spoilers for National Treasure 2, but the fact that there's ancient treasure hidden within the confines of Mount Rushmore. I mean, and now they have to break, it was not even that, is that it's like, what, what I like about it, it's kind of like a history lesson, you know, but at the same time, it's Disney fine, like, okay, we're on an adventure with a Disney lesson, because especially with the whole, uh, the, the president's death, I never knew information about the president's death until, until this, the second movie, I'm like, See, I and never knew that. History of lessons, too, so we're just gonna dive into this. Yeah, so let's dive into this, because I know they're also gonna probably bring up the whole fact about part three possibly coming straight to Disney+. Part, Plus. Yeah, part three, I believe, is gonna be Disney Plus original film. Yeah, so. so let's just dive into this for the Honest Trailers for National Treasure. So here we go. If you love historical mysteries, but wish they weren't so European, no. switch the settings to easy mode for a scavenger hunt that anyone can figure out, even kids and Americans. National treasure. When the Declaration of Independence is in danger, someone's going to steal the Declaration of Independence. One group will steal the Declaration yeah, they have of to Independence. Steal. We're steal the Declaration of Independence. That's the so line. No one else can steal the Declaration of, of Independence. Independence. I'm not going to let you steal the Declaration of Independence. Then use it to re-steal a bunch of treasure that America already stole. Evil is in them. That's American for finders keepers. Benjamin <laughs> Franklin Gates. The least subtle name for the most subtle Nick Cage character. Yeah! He's basically Ross Geller, if he were a professional America knower, but who solves puzzles like he's the world's greatest detective, Adam West's Batman. <laughs> the legend, the key, there's something. <laughs> I never know what kind of Batman reference in this. Legends, maps have keys. How do you make a dishonest shark cake? Library. Clearly a corrupted version of the word library. The map said here at the wall spell the two E's. Wall Street follows the path of an actual wall that the original Dutch settlers built as a defense. The main gate was located in a street called Deheer, also two weeks. When is the time of a clock like I never thought I'd be referencing 66 Batman in this. Tune it too. Hang on, this movie is about the Freemasons, and this movie was produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, who also made The Rock, where Sean Connery plays John Mason. Connery, Connery, <laughs> ornery, ornery con, like old people, and one old person line, General Hummel, who's played by Ed Harris, Con Harris, Con Air, <laughs> and then goes full cage mode, and starred Nicholas Cage. And the villain, the conspiracy the type of person. The connection. The con in the air. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> the heist of the bicentennial. This walking pub trivia night is gonna need a kick-ass crew. So he's bringing along this one nerd. He yeah. knows everything. I'm tracking you through the GPS and Shaw's phone. Daylight savings wasn't established until World War One. How did the ship wind up? That's the one that he gets. Could be that the hydrothermic properties of this region produce hurricane force ice storms. They get the nerd goes over. For him to not know anything. It's an Ottendorf cipher. Oh, okay. What's an Ottendorf cipher? Do you know what the preservation is for? Delicious jams and jellies. So what do we do with them? We look for it. Together. <laughs> yeah, it is weird. He's smart, but not. Woman. Very cute, man. 
Bruce spends the entire movie being told to shut up. Now, can you please stop shouting? Give me that! You're still shouting. Quiet, please. Now, shush. She really can't shut her mouth, can she? Shut up. <laughs> shut up. one calling all the shots now. She won't shut up. Until she rewards our hero's patriotic tomb raiding with a map to her vagina. Where does it lead to? Oh, the real national treasure was inside her all along. Ah! An action-packed <laughs> high school field trip. As the movie gives our nation's substitute teachers enough Ben Franklin facts to excuse at least five smoke breaks. Do you actually know who the first person to suggest daylight savings was? Ben Franklin. And <laughs> in the rest of the right time with generic shootouts and explosions until the day is saved, thanks to skills you learned from your real history teacher. Video games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <in> <laughs> it's like it's everything lights up. For America, Bruckheimer style. That'll take you back to simpler times where our only adversaries were blonde Eurohunks trying to steal our coin collections, and the secret cabal who robbed other cultures, ran the country in secret, and hold the highest positions in law enforcement. Yeah. It was like a super cool good thing that any kid would be happy to join. Do you so swear? So swear. Uh, Oh, I want to be in the deep state. <laughs> Story. Okay. In the Alex Joe. In the Alex Joe. Doctor Girlfriend. Surprise, mother. Surprise! This is the guy. The Wolf. Historians being reckless with priceless artifacts. Oh, wait, don't break it. Yeah, break in. Very that class. They were confirmed that class was bulletproof. Mm -hmm. All the dangers, like. Yeah. I found the Sean. You mean she was a ship? Yeah, she was beautiful. Yeah, it was. Larry. Does he look? Take these, uh, doesn't look like an animal. Do you want something? Shut up. And the only yeah. time Nick Cage gets it's to a Nick Cage. Cage. Now there are no more clues. That's it, okay? It's over. Red, white, and blue. These clues. <laughs> <laughs> For people who really don't know, they're like, "Oh, I, I never knew that." Yeah, he, yeah, his his aside, his base Nick Cage's nerd friend is very much that's it. He's just a hacker nerd friend, but apparently doesn't know shit about codes or certain ciphers. So it's like, what? And then like it, her her biggest influence is she's a woman that won't shut up. And it's, what? Shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Okay, you're not shutting up. Huh? Just. But I mean, it's still fun. It's still entertaining. It's still Nicolas Cage in it, being he hella fun and just like some great stuff overall. I did love the little Zelda. It's like, it's like the one thing that taught you everything you need to know. You really know your real history teacher, teacher. that taught you everything you know. And then, <laughs> da -da 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 -da. video games. <laughs> video games. But it is such a fun, entertaining movie. I still highly recommend checking it out. The second film, they understand what happened with the first one. Second one, they made it a bit more international. So yeah, they did. And, now, and then. And then now the third one, pretty much, where they teased at the very end of the second one, going, was it page, did you look at page, was it 43 or something like 42 that? 42 or something like 42, that. 42, it's like, yes, I have. And it's just like, ooh, a lot of people are guessing now where it's like, is it Atlantis or what the hell is it, you know? But we're getting third one, so awesome. Um, so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And I feel like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Cage. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that cage. bell icon as well. This cage. Uh, let us know what you guys liked about this honest trailer. Uh, did you have fun with it? Any, any funny moments that you enjoyed that they brought up? Um, what, what, like, what, 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 what makes you like this movie so much? Uh, do you enjoy the movie? Uh, is it one of your favorites or is just a, you know, an enjoyable movie to watch? You know, what are you hoping for for the third one? Um, what do you think is on that page? 
Do you think it's Atlantis, or do you think it's something even bigger, or something even grander? I don't know. Uh, but let us know in the comments down below. But don't you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Cage Time-filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.